We all like to indulge in a little bit of nostalgia now and again. And when we do, there are few things more emotive or powerful than our early childhood memories of our favourite foods. And one of the things that always gets me feeling super sentimental is the pancake. There was pancake day, of course, with its sugar and lemon. But funnily enough, it isn't that that really gets me. I'm talking about the Findus crispy pancake. Ooh, I can taste it now. As a child growing up in the country, what I really fancied for lunch was a frozen, mass-produced, deep-fried pancake parcel filled with meat, cheese or fish in an oozing, gloopy sauce. I could say it was a guilty pleasure, but I honestly don't think my eight-year-old self had any guilt whatsoever about tucking into a crispy pancake. But if I can't knock up a half-decent version of one now, well, I might as well give up. I always thought the most sophisticated crispy pancake was the smoked haddock and cheese one. But these days, haddock is taking a battering in more ways than one, so I'm replacing it with sustainable smoked pollock, poached in milk with bay and onions. For the cheese sauce, melt a little butter, add some flour and stir over a gentle heat. Just need to cook that flour nicely for a minute or two. Slowly add the lovely fishy milk back in and stir out any lumps of flour before throwing in a couple of handfuls of good cheddar cheese. I've certainly got no qualms whatever about replacing the smoked haddock with smoked pollock. They're so similar. Ooh, that's good. Of course, it's nothing without the pancake and the crispiness on the outside, but so far, I'm pretty happy with that. And for an all-out crispy pancake nostalgia fest, I've got Tim and Gill making their own Findus favourites too. There are several choices for the filling. I chose steak and kidney. Shin of beef makes the best stewing steak, I think. It's really nice and fatty. It's well marbled. Don't trim it out too heavily. Leave some of that fat on there. Some fresh thyme, a little bit of flour. Really important, we want it to be nice and thick. Shouldn't add red wine but I just can't help myself. I'm going to do chicken, sweet corn and bacon. A little bit of butter. They're not looking for so much for a sauce, I don't think, here as a gloop. Got some chicken stock, well reduced, so it's quite strong. Sweet corn, straying from the path of Findus righteousness with my garlic and herbs there. The thing is, even though I know it's going to taste nice, it still just looks wrong. <laughs> We have our fillings and our pancakes. Time to put them together. Flour, egg and breadcrumbs is the tried and tested method for a sturdy crumb coating. Actually looks like a, <laughs> like a crispy pancake. It's amazing. But when it comes to historical reenactment, the devil's in the detail. There's one thing that isn't right. They're not orange enough. A little bit of turmeric. That's more like it. Perhaps a hint of sweet paprika. Nothing spicy or hot. Oh, yeah, look at that. I've created a monster. Into the egg, a red-crumbed River Cottage Pollock and Cheese Ersatz Findus Crispy Pancake. So wrong, it has to be right. Hey. All right, boys. All right. How, How are you? On, show me, show me. <laughs> show me your hands. What have you been up? Look at these. That's some authentic yellow breadcrumbs. <laughs> Very yellow. Oh, yeah, indeed. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. After frying our crispy pancakes for three minutes on each side, we're ready for the retro taste test. Oh. You guys have stolen the colour from the oil. They do look good, though. At the moment, we could pile right in and, in traditional crispy pancake fashion, scald our mouths. <laughs> First up, steak and kidney crispy pancakes a la Gill. Oh, yes. Look at that. That is, oh, that is the business. That is the business. Genius, dude. Oh. <laughs> Done the classic. So far, that's the best crispy pancake I've had in my whole life. That is just so delicious. Tim's now. Oh, my God. Chicken, it's chicken bacon, bacon and sweet corn. Yes. Very good. <laughs> good sauce. Do you know what? 
It's not quite bland enough to be authentic. You've been a bit cheeky with the herbs, haven't uh -huh. you? A lovely bit of thyme. Lovely bit of thyme. And that just leaves my smoked pollock and cheese. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Oh, Ooh, runny sauce. So, will it be the mm. Proustian Madeleine of my childhood memory? I have to hand it to you. That's pretty good. It does actually take 35 years off me. <laughs> it really, it really does. I think what we've done is we've all put a little bit of our childhood inside a pancake and fried it. Yeah. Nicely well said. said. It almost brings a tear to my eye. I mean, I, I just think perfection. And check out some more delicious recipes from the River Cottage team.